LaCroix sparkling water was introduced in 1981 by G. Hillman Brewing Company in La Crosse, Wisconsin. The company only focused on beer at the time, but they saw a huge opportunity in the sparkling water category. They strived to create an anti-Perrier sparkling water brand because they felt like their biggest competitors, Perrier, were a bit snobbish. They wanted to create something casual yet sophisticated. So they created LaCroix and they decided to package it in a can rather than a bottle like most of their competitors. And while most people think the name is French, it's not. The name is actually a cross between St. Croix, which is a river that runs along Wisconsin's western border, and La Crosse, the beverages Wisconsin hometown. The popularity of the drink grew super fast and it became a staple for Midwestern moms. And by 1992, the company was worth $25 million. In the same year, Hillman sold the company to National Beverage because they admitted that they still didn't know much about that market because all they knew was beer. And then LaCroix took off yet again as Americans started to go away from sodas and look for healthier options such as sparkling water. About 10 years later, National Beverage decided to rebrand the drink and the can's design, and they actually chose the option that was the least favorite by management. Avoiding clean and simple design was a successful approach to their anti-Perrier strategy, but then sales dropped in 2015, and they created a new marketing strategy of targeting healthy millennials. This marketing strategy was extremely successful as they created a huge online presence on social media and specifically Instagram where they went from 4,000 followers to 30,000 followers in eight months. Today, LaCroix is still owned by National Beverage Company, which is a massive company worth nearly $5 billion. And that is how LaCroix got started. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Austin Daniel Petrie.